Okay, let's sit and meditate for a few minutes. Anam Pavana Sapakni. Close your eyes and focus on your breath. When the breath comes in, think but When it goes out, think to. Bhutto means awake. It's a quality you want to bring to the present moment, being awake. Because it's the medicine that does away with the diseases of greed, aversion, and delusion in the mind. When you really awake in the present moment, you see these things coming, you can see how they're going to cause trouble down the line, and you can learn how to let go of them in time before they really take hold and become harder and harder to uproot. Because every human being born has mental diseases, not the crazy diseases that they throw you into a insane asylum, a sane asylum, but the kind where you cause yourself suffering, even though you don't want to. But it's your greed, it's your aversion, it's your delusion that are causing these things, causing the sufferings in the mind. And this is the medicine for that, to learn how to be really, really alert, to cut through the delusion. That allows you to think that greed is a good thing or anger is a good thing. So you can apply the medicine in time. So we have to be learn how to be really alert right here, right now. As soon as you catch yourself wandering off, just come right back. Wander off again, come right back again. Keep catching the mind like this. At the same time, give it a good place to come back to. Try to make the breath comfortable. This is medicine on the physical side. When the breath energy in the body is good, it's going to, going to help the body in lots of ways. Heavy diseases become lighter, lighter diseases can disappear. So this is medicine for the body and the mind, but the important medicine is the medicine for the mind. Because you're the only one who can apply this medicine. Other people can teach you, other people can tell you, but you're the one who has to apply the treatment which means that you have to learn how to be your own doctor. You get the advice of people who are more experienced as to what medicine to apply. But then you're the one who has to apply it. It's not like when you can go down and get a shot from a doctor, the doctor does all the work. You're just on the receiving end. Here you have to apply the treatment of seeing through these diseases, recognizing them as diseases, and then applying the proper medicine. The medicines are all there. It's just a matter of learning which one to pick, when, and in what circumstances. But it really helps when you're alert to what's going on, because that helps you pick up the warning signs before the disease gets really entrenched. <laughs>